Hi guys, you're with Barry, and I want to introduce you to yet another great couple on our Up Close and Personal series. Uh, we've been doing a lot of interviews with folks that we've met, friends. Uh, we're going to continue to do this. The feedback's been wonderful. But right now I want to introduce you to a great couple who I would say over the past, it's almost, it's two years, roughly? Yeah, maybe... A little longer, two maybe and a half. bit, two yeah. and a, two yeah. to two and a half years. Some great folks that became friends of ours, and I want to introduce you to Kurt and Jasmine, and in the off camera, Bella, the star of the show, and she's entertaining herself with a Mickey Mouse cartoon while we're doing this. And guys, uh, thanks a lot for taking the time to be with us for a little bit, and tell us a little bit about yourselves. I know you're Canadian, like myself, but. A little bit about yourselves and maybe what transpired at such a young age with a, with a you know basically a, a two-year-old. Uh, what inspired you to contemplate what you're doing, why you're doing it? Just in your own words, just up up front and personal. Well, we've been planning this or been thinking of it for a bit. Oh, it'd be close to ten years, I guess. We've been together ten years. Coming up, yeah. So it started since then, maybe a year into our relationship, when we started to come to her home back here. Jasmine was born here. And meet, met her family and uh, got to know the Dominican culture and what it's really like down here. So ever since then, it's been in the back of our minds to come down here and check things out and really get to know the place. So we made a point to come down once a year at least since then, and we've been able to do that sometimes twice a year and get off the resorts and get into the culture, get to know the people, and we love it. And obviously, Jasmine loves it. And, <laughs> um, so yeah, that's kind of what brought us here anyways. When, as time went by at home, uh, just work things and, you know, taxes, stuff like that at home that really is pushing us to be more serious about the move. That's when we really started researching more and came across your page, DR Escapes. It's all snowballed from there and you've helped us a lot and kind of we've learned a lot more than we ever thought we would the knowledge that you've provided us and well with you have friends here and yeah a, a lot of people pitching in to help yeah. um, mm -hmm. it, yeah. was it though was it an economic thing uh don't like my country's uh path it's heading down or was it more of a because jasmine you're dominican and you have family in various regions of the country we mm -hmm. just keep things you know we don't expose any of that and was it more along that decision or was it or you wanted your your you know not, not then it was newborn now mm -hmm. not newborn uh, daughter to experience different cultures see the world you know typically people think you got to be rich and retired to be able to do something like this is mm -hmm. the general consensus I have even though I know from experience that's not true, but when people have an idea, it's it's an idea that stays in their head. And so, was it what 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 really you know decided? Because it, it looks like you you're probably going to make this a a, a home and uh, this country a home. And tell us a little bit more about you know why. Well, the, <laughs> <laughs> one of the main reasons is for us is the culture and the people, and we fell in love with it like I said right from the start and, and that that is one of the biggest reasons of coming here is we want the slower paced life and not the hustle and bustle but in the last few years anyways you can see how things are changing at home like I said the taxes the laws and you can't do this you can't do that and we have a unique opportunity because of Jasmine mm -hmm. and you know we got exposed more quickly than other people because of her family still being down here. So that really made our decision quite easy and, and we want to pursue it, I guess. <laughs> did you guys, um, did you in particular start coming to the DR before Abella was born or? Yes. Yeah, yep. and how pretty long? much right after we first met, within that year, we came home and, um, and visited with my family. And then after that, I believe his mom and dad came and uh, we met with family in Puerto Plata, so then they got to meet everybody, and then, yeah, just every year after that, your mom's usually come, or my mom, or, yeah. Yeah. And then we had a Bella, now it's almost every, twice a year sometimes. Yeah. She's already traveled like six times. <laughs> <laughs> to here? 
Yeah. Really? Mm-hmm. Okay. Or like through like planes, I guess I should say. She's been in quite a few flights. Uh, as a mother, um, you were here for roughly a month, more or less, and you were here to, you know, I only saw them a, a couple of times, really, maybe two or three times the whole trip, because uh, I knew they were busy with uh, making permanent move type of plans and permanent move type of investigations about schools and nurseries and, and things of this nature, and I had a couple of trips to do, and uh, we didn't see all that much of each other this, this trip, but what did you discover in your month um, from a mother's point of view about for younger children and education and things? Um, well, we were able to look at quite a few different schools and different age groups for her. Um, some might think we were a little ahead of ourselves because she's not even two, but and then at home she wouldn't start school till she's about four maybe five I don't even know because I haven't looked into that at home (laughs) but I looked in the Dominican anyway so we were able to find some places for her when she's two years old or potty trained and when she's five years old and just kind of a little bit of a like idea of what we need to worry about when when the time comes for her and it's just nice to just see the kids outside playing and not indoors stuck and you know because of the winter or you know, it, it, I just think it's a slower paced life and I could probably enjoy it a lot more than I can at home where I'm working, you know, a lot of hours and I see her for maybe three hours out of the whole day because of my work or she's at daycare or, you know, with one of our moms watching yeah. her, so. Yeah, we did a lot of research this month and like you say, check it, checked it the schools, we checked it. Dentists, we didn't get to do a doctor, but we did the dentist. We knew schools. where the clinics were. And yeah. Okay, like Doctor De La Cruz's yeah. office yeah. and the we checked okay. like those areas. I would check the the dentist's office, which mm-hmm. you said, and then the vet where the vet is, the vet, yeah. just in case, because we'll we'll have our boxer if we move down. Yeah, I think being young at our age, I think you need to plan. I wouldn't suggest jumping right into it and coming down here. I think you need to really plan because, like you say, Barry, people think you have to have money to do this, or you have to uh, be retired with money coming in, pensions and whatnot. If you're gonna do it young, I suggest lots of planning. You've taught me that. Ta- take your time. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I, I I try to yeah. get that message across. So. Yeah, and um, like I said, we've been planning this a long time. Well, you um, have a couple of as uh, off. You know, we spoke off camera. Uh, yeah. We hide nothing. No, <laughs> that you have a couple of advantages that I encouraged you. Mm-hmm. Yeah. To take advantage of. Exactly. Yeah. Which is, uh, of course, uh, Jasmine being one, your, uh, your unique um, seasonal mm-hmm. employment. That's a good way to say that. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, things of that nature. I recently met another great couple from, uh, I think it was Fort Mac. Mm-hmm. Same thing, you know, with the, we were discussing the same thing. So you had a couple of key advantages, but you believe now from your own personal experience yes it's nice if you're retired with an income yeah. mm-hmm. but with correct planning this this is achievable and not exactly. just dr i yeah, mean anywhere and yeah. any move it, yeah. it's achievable yeah. right yeah. yeah you just gotta you know uh don't rush into things try and set things up the best you can at home and uh well another advantage you have though too is advise the people how important it is i keep after them i'm not great at spanish but i can sure converse exactly yes but you about, need to have yeah, you have yeah. jasmine but yeah. you yeah. can't keep her glued to your hip. No, if, yeah, you know, you gotta twenty four seven. Yeah, you got to get right in with the people. Yeah, to make transition that much easier and better, and you'll feel welcome a lot more. I remember one. It was you. I don't remember if it was you or Jasmine, but I do remember one of you mentioning how critical it was to you that you want your daughter to be in more than one environment in her life, mm-hmm. to experience different cultures, and of course. Uh, to experience more than one language. Can, That's right. God, if I had kids, they'd be your age. I mean, from somebody from your generation, I'm the generation before. Mm-hmm. Could you express the importance of how being bilingual is getting to be so important in today's day and age, small world technology? Yeah. Well, for her, it'll be it'll be great because she's already learning it from my mom and myself. And then being on this trip, she's hearing it a lot more. And it seems all her cartoons have changed to Spanish, so she mm-hmm. doesn't really have a choice right now. <laughs> mm-hmm. But it'll it'll just be nice if she ever wants to travel because Spanish you can learn French and and any other types of like um, languages that have Spanish in them that 
would benefit her in the future. You have more opportunity to travel around the world if she grows up bilingual and she has the opportunity to do whatever she wants. That and way. travel, but also yeah. employment, employment opportunities, yeah. career yeah. opportunities. Employment, yeah. And, yeah. You know, what can you tell people about their fears, about looking at where there's so many people that dream about going to a different place and and it's not palm trees and and, and, and you know drinking rum all day long under the mm-hmm. palm trees you have to you know earn a living and work as well you know yeah. but uh although with. i do try to spend as much time with the rum <laughs> under the palm tree it's not how you live every day yeah um what did, what suggestions can you give people i mean do they have to go to the place of interest first do they do they i mean you can only research on a laptop yeah. so much yeah and that's what we found is you can do your research but for people our age there was nothing on younger folks um doing what we have done so yeah your fears will set in and it uh that's the biggest holdback is your fear but what i've learned over the last couple years is comfort zones seem like nice places and they are but they're a wasteland where nothing grows so yeah it uh you really got to go to your comfort zone and yeah it's not all about the palm trees and rum because once you're down here living down here reality will set in at some point and the vacation will be over so you got to take the time and make sure that this is the place for you or wherever you're going in the world and you guys are, are heading back up north tomorrow yes. and you'll um i'm pretty sure you'll be back uh, sometime next winter again hopefully so. yeah if not sooner we'll see. if not sooner <laughs> yeah so you're kind of excited about this obviously and i suppose you're looking forward to making this place home yes yeah yeah and is there any last, you know, thoughts or suggestions you'd like to share with the subscribers about anything that's been your experience? Aside from learning the language, just come and check it out and look at what you want to look at and, and see if this is what you want. Because you might want a bigger town or, you know, somewhere more busy. For us, we live out in the country, so we don't care that it's such a small town and there isn't so much to do and that you can drive to other areas. If you're single, that's probably easier for you to just pack and go, but with a family, it takes a little more time and planning Mm, because we have a little one to worry about. If it was just us to come down, I think it would be so different. We wouldn't be so worried. We could just sell our house and our vehicles and then just move where we gotta think, well, we have a daughter now, we can't just yeah. We could, but yeah. I can't do yeah. that. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Still a little so, bit of fear there. Yeah, just have a little bit of a plan and check it out. And you'll need more than a couple of weeks because it's a lot to check out wherever you go. Yeah. And um, see if you can even work whatever you work at home here or look at other options for, for income because yeah. nothing's free. <laughs> yeah, you know, at our age when all your friends are out partying and having fun, those are the sacrifices you have to give up to be able to achieve your goals. You have to put your nose down and work for it and put the time in and it'll benefit in the long run and it may seem like you're messing out on fun but if this is where you want to be then you got to do those things at our age yeah excellent excellent and no last minute thoughts before we cut camera no thank um, you for everything and yeah thank we'll you. hopefully see you before yeah. next winter no barry you've been uh you and leanne and johnny and everyone has been such a big i can't even explain or thank you guys enough it's, well, it's, it's a pleasure it's been a lot of fun on, on our end too yeah, you know that i think you know that yeah oh yeah and you know. we like we have her family for questions and that but they can only give the dominican point of view where you give us the you know the outside you know kind of both of them and, exactly yeah. so we're getting best of both worlds so we're gonna say to you if anyone needs uh you know to ask us questions because we are younger i We'd be happy to help. Okay, as best super. As, we can, yeah. as best as we can, yeah. So. Super, and there just may be one or two, because uh, it seems to me uh, the last year it's switched a little bit, and it seems to me there's more young people that are coming over here to mm-hmm. have a look in various, uh, you know, just to change life, to, you know. Yeah. One of the thing is you can always go home. Yeah. It's not, Smart. You know, it's not like you're, you're stuck here. Is You know, it doesn't work out. That really sucks, but, I mean, you can always fly out and, yeah. you know, hopefully return to your old job or something like it where yeah. and you can say you did it yeah. that's true too but right. somebody a lot smarter than old barry once said if you don't like your decision just make another decision but <laughs> yeah, you yeah. never would have known if you liked your decision unless you had yeah. made one in the first place exactly, exactly. So you gotta start you somewhere have. right yeah. guys i really appreciate you taking some time with us and 
Uh, I know sometimes people are a little camera shy and what have you, <laughs> but you guys did great, yeah. and uh, we really appreciate that, and we're glad we can call you our friends now. Yeah, well, thank same you. Same with us, Barry. Thank you very much. And it's always a pleasure. <laughs> All right. Guys, until next time, this is Barry NDR. We'll talk to you soon. Bye.